What's happening, people? Welcome back. So someone asked me a question. How do you know if an EGR cooler is leaking? That's simple. Are you losing coolant? Are you not seeing anything external? Pressure test the system, find out. If you're seeing something on the outside, fix that first. If you're not seeing something on the outside, we're gonna take a look inside. Luckily, this truck here is gonna need one. Let's go step by step. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this EGR hot pipe off. One bolt here, three bolts here, and one clamp. And this is gonna come right off. Okay, now that I have the pipe off, I'm gonna take a look inside. Uh, it doesn't look too bad right there. We're gonna look right here. Let's see if I get that camera in for you. And it is wet in there. It's kind of hard to tell by the picture, but it is wet. You can see the puddles back there in the back and this is all shiny and wet. So, looks like we got an EGR cooler failure. All right, so here we are in the passenger side of the engine. First thing we're gonna wanna do is take this air filter piping off. One clamp here, eight millimeter bolt head. Same thing right here. We're gonna get this out of the way. And there's a sensor right here. Just gotta unclip. Comes right off. Don't forget that. So, put the piping off, turbo covered, nice and safe. What we're going to want to do is get this banjo bolt off. Remember, it's got two washer seals right here that need to be replaced. Get that line out of the way. Take this clamp off. Don't worry about this one for now. Just kind of push this back a little bit. Take this off. What we're going to do is we're going to take off these heads. Take off that clamp that's right there. And that'll be ready to pull out. Let's see if this magic happen. Park back there and I'll get some Alright, we're back at it. Let's get that clamp off. Cool. Six millimeter. I guess I'll be known as that guy. Huh? He's like, let me know when that guy comes. I'm like, I am that guy. She's like, oh, okay. You're here. Yeah, you're here. Can you hear about it? No. 
I'll just like go in that space over there. And I'll pull you when I'm ready. Let me know when I got it. Oh, no, you guess you're not. All right, so right now we're looking at where the EGR cooler goes. You got a seal. You got another seal. We're going to replace that clamp right there. We're going to replace that clamp right there. Replace the seals. Slap it back on. Put the clamps. Put our other little thingies. Secure it down. Fill it up with coolant. And we're going to be great. And just so you could have seen it from the other side, let's look how wet it was. Definitely EGR cooler failure. Should not be that wet in there at all. Maybe some little bit of condensation, but not like this. All right, here we are looking at the brand new EGR cooler. We got two new seals. Don't forget, we're gonna have to grease these bad boys up. That way they fit in nice and easy. We're gonna slap them in here first. And then we're gonna carry it in spit and spit. Uh, that's how it's gonna go. All right, EGR cooler set in place. I got all these little uh, isolators on there. I got the bolts. I just got to secure them down. I'm gonna get that fitting, banjo fitting on there with new seals. I got a new clamp on there. We're gonna tighten that down. We're gonna get this new clamp on here. Tighten this down. Make sure this is lined up perfectly. Otherwise, you're gonna be leaking exhaust. Put that air filter piping back on. And then we're gonna fill it up with coolant. All right, so here we are looking at a completed job. I got all the clamps back on, all the isolators, all the screws. Got that new clamp. Got the new seals with the banjo bolt. Boom, there it is. We got that clamp right there. Got the filter piping on. Got that sensor connector back on because you know it's going to throw a check engine light. Clamp, clamp. The only thing left to do, fill up that coolant. So, the job wasn't so bad, right? It's fairly easy. Warranty pays almost three hours. I think it was like 2.8 hours. So you get three hours out of the job. Really, you work your ass off 45 minutes. The longest part is filling and draining the coolant as always. So it ain't that bad. Uh, the most important thing, don't forget this, this very important detail. You already guessed it like subscribe and catch me for more see you guys in the next time